Hey, good morning. This is uh, Douglas Smith, DHS Realty Broker Owner, and I'm doing a five-part series on working with a tenant. Today is uh, two of five. Yesterday, I did the initial stages uh, when a tenant calls and how to make an appointment, uh, leading all the way up to texting the listing agent. Uh, right before you show it, you want to obviously text the listing agent, make sure it's still available. You're going to make an appointment for it. <coughs> to make an appointment, generally speaking, about 90% of the time, you'll go to showing time. They used to be called CSS, Centralized Showing Time, um, or Centralized Showing Services. Uh, you'll either call into them, you'll go to a website, or you'll do it on an app, um, or you'll text the agent. Uh, somehow you'll get a reply back that you've been approved for the showing. You absolutely want to confirm it's still available, and the only one that knows it's available is the actual listing agent. So wait for an answer. Uh, get there a little early. <clears throat> probably about uh, 10 minutes before you're supposed to meet your tenant. Uh, have a little packet on yourself with a bio, a resume, references. You're going to have the information about brokerage services completely filled out. Um, behind it, it would be a good idea to have a buyer rep template that has everything pre-filled except paragraph one says your name goes here. And when you get out of the car, you're going to meet the tenant, shake hands, uh, firm handshake, uh, introduce yourself, and... Um, just say, hey, pleasure to meet you. You probably already left them some video messages if you're with our firm because we're big advocates of that. We believe that's the future of real estate is video messaging, Facebook Live like this, FaceTiming. Um, that's the future. It's hard to misinterpret somebody when you see them uh, versus a text message that can ruin relationships. Um, so um, you're going to start walking up to the door. Probably great to talk about how the sun sets in the backyard, even for a tenant. They're going to be enjoying the backyard for a whole year. They're going to go through a summer. So you need to talk about the backyard. And if it faces the west where the sun sets, that's not going to be a winter. Uh, not a W-I-N-T-E-R, but it's not going to be a W-I-N-N-E-R. It's not going to be a winter because uh, for five months out of the year, it's unbearable in the backyard as the sun sets. <clears throat> so most likely a tenant's going to say, wow, I've never heard that before. A lot of tenants in the DFW area get treated poorly by realtors. Um, and what's different about our firm is that we treat a tenant um, as an end in itself, not a means to an end. We're going to be with that tenant forever. We're going to pitch a tent next to them. We're going to be in the trenches and we're going to have their real estate needs fulfilled until they uh, move on to a different world uh, or you do. Um, so as you're walking in, you talk about the backyard. Uh, if it's a two-story, probably the best resale is going to be master on the first floor. But also for a tenant, it's probably going to be master on the first floor so that a tenant doesn't have to go up and down every day uh, to go to bed and to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, want bedrooms split if it's a single story. Not all the bedrooms down the same hallway, but you want the master on one side of the house and the other bedrooms on the other side. So these are things that a tenant's going to say, wow, I've never heard that before. Uh, and then you're going to probably go look in the garage. And when you look in the garage, there's probably going to be a sprinkler. Uh, that's going to be good because even though it's not their property, they got to maintain the soil around the foundation. Uh, if there's not a sprinkler, they you, maybe you buy them a soaker hose. Not soca, but a soaker hose. S-O-A-K-E-R. Got to learn how to pronounce it correctly. A soaker hose is what they sell at Home Depot or Lowe's uh, or even Walmart. You put it around the foundation about 10 inches and you turn it on every... Uh, third day about 20 minutes in the summer and once a week in the winter for about 20 minutes You let water just seep into the soil and keep the foundation snug against the uh, the soil snug against the foundation um, Again, you're hoping that the tenant or the buyer is going to say things like wow I've never heard that before and then you're going to work with them unless you say something stupid about politics Nobody wants to hear your political uh, thoughts when you're a realtor uh, so take that stuff off of Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and uh, learn both sides of an argument. Uh, be open-minded. Make your worldview beyond Collin County, and you'll have a client forever. And the whole goal is that when you meet that person, they're a customer. You want to turn them into a client. So by giving that home buyer packet or that ten tenant packet, you're introducing them to some of the forms that they will eventually sign with you. Uh, and that's what we'll pick up tomorrow. So um, on getting that customer turned into a client. Y'all be safe and go get some today. It's Tuesday. It's going to be a great week.